I'm sure most of you have seen this story floating around the internet before. But for those who haven't, this is going to be a quick recap. So this is the article I came across. It's on Business Insider. And the title is, An agency created an AI model who earns up to 11000 per month because it was tired of influencers who have egos. The summary of the article is, Itana Lopez is an AI-generated creation by a Spanish agency that grew tired of booking real models. Lopez can make over 1,000 euros or 1,090, looks like US dollars, per advert and is also featured in images on FanView. And then FanView CEO previously told Insider that AI generated characters would thrive and become common on that platform. So this creation is by Ruben Cruz. He's the founder of a Barcelona based modeling agency. And this AI generated woman, Aitana Lopez, her profile, she's pink haired, 25 year old model, and her account has amassed over 124,000 followers on Instagram. Let's click into this. Let's see if it's still at that number. So we've gotten up to 226,000 now. Her Instagram handle is fit underscore Aitana. They have her from Barcelona. She's a gamer, into fitness, cosplay lover. And then they have hashtag AI models, so they're really running with it that she's AI. Here are some of her posts. So the last post was four weeks ago. So I'm wondering why this isn't being updated still. It seemed to be doing pretty well. And some of these comments shows the ethical considerations for an AI model. Like I don't think these people know that she's AI. I recommend you come to Colorado. Go girl, beautiful. You know, it's very tricky to tell. This person looks real. If you really look at it, you can tell it's AI. It's a little too shocked. The story goes that Cruz decided to design Lopez after having trouble working with real models and influencers. Many projects were being put on hold or canceled, but that's the thing with an AI model. They won't cancel. They'll post the ad that some models don't want to post. So since the publication, there was 56 photos on the Instagram. We saw 64, I think. And then FanView is a subscription platform similar to OnlyFans. So it looks like they're also making racy images of her and charging some people a subscription fee. And the crazy part is that this AI influencer earns anywhere from 3,000 to 10,000 euros per month. So it shows that having an audience on any platform, whether you're real or AI, is a benefit. And then we have a stat that AI model numbers are rising. And here's another example. Emily Pellegrini has over 100,000 followers. Let's see if we can find this one. Okay, this looks to be the one. The only problem I'm seeing with this one is that the face doesn't look quite the same in each one. It kind of looks like a different person. There's a completely different hair color in this one. What I like about the Aitana Lopez is the pink hair. There's a defining characteristic. And I think that's what we have to shoot for if we're gonna make an AI influencer ourselves. Okay, so how would I make this? Well, there are a few AI tools that I would use. First off, I tried to use Dolly 3, but I don't think this image generator is fit for this task. First off, I uploaded a picture of Aitana Lopez. I wanted to see how close I could get to this original image. I asked it to describe this image in as much detail as possible, and we got this really long prompt. Then I asked it to make an image that copied that prompt, and we first got this. Now it's not bad, but this looks really AI. Like the facial features are cartoony. I asked it to go more realistic and it got even more cartoony. This looks like a Pixar character in 2035. And then I asked it to generate, it's supposed to be a DSLR camera, made a typo there. But again, it looks a little too cartoony, a little too fake for me. So we're not gonna be able to use Dolly 3. So I think our best bet is Mid Journey. Mid Journey is an AI image generator. It's specifically designed to generate images, unlike ChatGPT, which is designed to do a lot of different things. And I found that some of the outputs in Midjourney are a lot more realistic. Like, look at this one. This looks much more photorealistic than anything I've generated with Dolly 3. Here's the pricing for Midjourney. Unfortunately, this does cost money. I'm gonna go on the basic plan. It limits my generations to about 200 per month, that's fine. If I was making much more influencers, I might opt for a higher plan, but let's just do the basic plan. Let's subscribe here. You generate images with Midjourney 
in Discord. So once you subscribe, you get access to the Midjourney server, and all you have to do is create your own server. So I'm gonna click Add Server and go create my own for me and my friends. Let's call it AI Influencer, hit Create. And then I'm gonna find the Midjourney bot on the right hand side. I'm gonna click it and then click Add App and then select my AI Influencer Discord server. So now I'm adding the ability to generate images with Midjourney in my server. Let's hit Authorize. Okay, now we gotta generate a base AI influencer model and we're gonna use this woman's style in all of our future photos. So to do this, we're gonna go slash imagine and that's the prompt to start Midjourney. And we're gonna write the prompt, half body portrait of a brunette woman on a yacht shot on Kodak Gold 400. And Kodak Gold 400 is a type of film. So we're trying to get a photorealistic output. So I'm gonna hit enter. And we're gonna see what the AI can generate. Okay, cool, we got a couple model shots here. Let's open in browser. Let's see if one of these catches our eye. You know, they all look somewhat consistent, which I like. There are slight differences, but we're gonna find which one resonates the most. See, the thing with Instagram is you're not gonna know which type of model is gonna take off. You can choose the one that you find most attractive and hope for the best. I actually like this last one here and the first one. I'm gonna go with the last one, number four. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit U4 and that upscales that last photo. Here, we have our seed image now. Every future output in Midjourney, if we provide a link, is gonna generate a consistent character. I also like having a fallback plan. If you Google in Swapper Discord and click the first link, you'll be able to add Insight Face, which is an AI face swapper to your Discord server. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna add it to the AI Influencer Discord server, hit continue, and it's gonna show up on the right side. All I have to do is right click, save this image, and then go slash, save ID. We're gonna upload that image, and we'll call this AI model. So just in case future generations and her face don't quite look the same, we can use the AI face swapper, take this face, we've saved it as an ID, and then we can change a future output to look like her. But let's hope we're not gonna need this, this is just a fallback plan. Now in new prompts, we're gonna provide an image link as a seed. So I'm gonna right click this image, go copy link, and now scrolling down, let's go slash imagine, we're gonna generate a new image, we're gonna provide the image link, and now we can write our prompt. Midjourney works best when the prompts are simple. So I'm gonna add in full shot of a brunette woman. Even though we're providing a seed image, I still like to prompt Midjourney so that it knows what we're going for. And I wrote in a hotel gym, just change the scenery, change the type of shot. This time we're going a full shot. And then remember to add shot on Kodak Gold 400 to keep the film and the style consistent. And you can see it's generating the image with this seed link. So the AI is gonna look at the seed link and it's gonna generate a new image with the same type of style. So this looks like the one I was going for. It even has her two different color eyes, which is perfect. That's a defining feature of our AI model. This one's nice too, but she doesn't have the different colored eyes. This one, I guess, kind of, you can see it. This first one looks the most similar. So I would upscale this first image. And then let's open this one and our seed image to see how similar they are. Here we go. Yeah, this looks like the same similar person to me. It's both in her right eye. The blue one's both the right. You could definitely pass this off. So now we have two. Let's make one more. Again, we're going to scroll up. Let's right click. We're going to copy this link. We're going to go dash imagine. Paste in the link. I wrote wide shot of a brunette woman laughing in a mall food court shot on Kodak Gold 400. Again, we're looking for the eyes. So this one has the right eyes. This one's tough to tell. This one definitely doesn't. So I think we can use that first one. Let's upscale this image. And there we go. We have three images of our AI model to start the Instagram page. If you're running out of ideas of what images to generate, you can go to ChatGPT. Here I wrote, give me 20 ideas for Instagram images of a model. And you can use these in your mid-journey prompts, like an athletic shoot showcasing sportswear. You can do seasonal splendor like a cozy winter outfit. Here you could do street style, many different options. Okay, first let's get a name for this AI influencer. I'm gonna go to ChatGPT, I'm gonna say give me 20 female full names. And quick scrolling through, let's go with Nora Lewis. 
Let's go to Instagram and create an account. We'll add her full name, Nora Lewis. Let's see if we can use that as a username. We'll have to use It's Nora Lewis. Okay, let's add our profile picture. I'm gonna make it the main one we generated in Mid Journey. And let's start uploading our photo. So we'll share our first one. All right, it's the one we made in the hotel gym. Now we need a caption. For that, I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT and use this new custom GPT I created called Image Caption Generator. So it's gonna generate Instagram captions and hashtags. We start by uploading an image. Let's upload an image of our post and hit enter. And it's gonna read this image and generate a caption for us. There we go, golden hour glow with a side of introspective moods. Sometimes the sun kisses us with just the right light. And we got three hashtags there to help us get exposure on Instagram. Let's copy this. Let's go back to Instagram. We're gonna paste this in and hit share. Let's post one more so this page doesn't look so empty. Go back to mid journey, let's right click. Let's save this image. We're gonna go to Instagram, upload this image, go to image caption generator. Let's attach that file and then copy this caption and paste it in. We can also use that first one. I guess it makes sense to have the original. Let's go to image caption generator, attach that file, send it through and paste in the caption. Okay, we also need to add a bio. I'm gonna go back to her Instagram page and let's see what's going on here. So she has a link tree, we might make that in the future, but I'm gonna copy this. All right, let's go to our page, go edit profile. Let's paste this into the bio, but let's change the text a bit. Let's make her from Italy and let's go Turin. So I'm gonna change this to Turin. She doesn't look like a gamer to me. I think she looks more into fashion. Let's go fashion emoji. There, that hat is a good one. Let's go back here, paste the hat. Then maybe something like lifestyle. We'll grab these stars here, paste that in. We don't need collabs. And then we're gonna use the hashtag AI model as well. So people can search this profile if they're into AI models. Okay, this is our AI influencer, Nora Lewis. This is a high level overview of how we built her. First, we started with a basic prompt. I used half body portrait of a brunette woman on a yacht. And this was the most important part, shot on Kodak Gold 400 to get us photorealistic images. We looked through and we found the one that we liked. This was the fourth one. And this was the image we were gonna use as a seed for all our future generations. Then we right clicked, we copied link, and we wrote a new mid journey prompt where we pasted in that link as a seed image. We continued with the brunette woman this time we changed the angle of the shot to get different styles of photos, and then we changed the location where she was. Again, if you want new ideas for different types of photos, I use ChatGPT4, and I asked it to give me 20 ideas for an Instagram model, and it spit out a bunch of them, like travel diaries, a pet companion, or a fairy tale inspired shoot in a forest. Then we look through and we found the image that looks the most like our original photo, and we noticed a defining characteristic, and that was she had two different colored eyes. So this one looked the most like our original photo. We grabbed this one. You upscale the image by hitting U1. That means the first image. Then we generated one more image. This time she was laughing in a food court. Again, shot on Kodak Gold 400. We looked through and we found that the first one looked most like our original seed image. So we upscaled it. We saved it to our computer. We also added the Insight Face Swap app to our Discord server, just in case we liked the photo and we wanted to change our face to look more like our seed image. Thankfully, we didn't have to use it in this video. We then created an Instagram profile. We named our AI model. We chose Nora Lewis. We generated names with ChatGPT. Then we copied a similar bio to the other popular AI influencers. We uploaded all our photos. And then we use the image caption generator custom GPT that I'll link for free in the description below. I'm also gonna add to this custom GPT. Let's make it a full Instagram content creator for AI influencers. I'm gonna give you ideas. We're gonna generate image captions, a bio. I'll link this in the description so you won't have to jump back and forth between all the conversations. Thanks for watching. Later.